All right, ladies and gents, we are back at it again with uh, what I believe is going to be another fantastic shave. Um, got some really great stuff lined up here, and we'll get to that in just a moment. We'll do as we always do, per use, the one passer, clean up the sides, leave the goatee, and we're out. It's kind of a black and white uh, theme today, so uh, so you'll see as we progress through the tools and then onto the soap, uh, I'm sure you'll pick that up. So with that said, let's get to it tools that we'll be utilizing for today. We're going to kick this off with the Henson, the AL13. Uh, this is fantastic. It is my one and only aluminum shaver and uh, absolutely love this guy. Shaved with it many, many a time so you can find it all through the library. Uh, there's those beautiful channels there. Does a banging job. Uh, so much so that both my daughters now, uh, my teenage daughters, are now uh, have been inducted into the wet shaving, and this is what they use. They went with the Henson, and uh, it's so intuitive that they picked it up, went right at it, and straight out of the gate, done. So fantastic on that. So keeping with the black and white theme, we'll go with the RK blades. Um, these are designed specifically for the Henson, and I believe they're manufactured out of India. So boom, boom on those, and, and they do a fantastic job. I prefer the Balzanos, but these do a very good job. So we've got those. Down below, sitting in the bowl, getting nice and warmed up and prepped, we've got the Smoke uh, HD or 730 HD. This is a silver tip badger version, and uh, I've used this many, many a time, and this guy is fantastic. Look at that. That is a beautiful little badger there. So, uh, so silver tip all the way. Love it. Uh, this guy does a fantastic job. And we got him kind of just chilling down here. And the Bobramel, again, we'll keep with the black white. Uh, this guy's warming up just fantastic. All right, done with that stuff. Let's get to the soap. All right, fantastic label. Look at that. So, this just in from Nightwatch Co. This is, uh, you can see the abbreviation here, IGY6, which is I Got Your Six. Uh, and that is a widely used term. Uh, predominantly in the military, but you'll you'll find it uh, utilized elsewhere. Um, but just letting others in your squad or who are around you uh, let them know that you've got their back always. And uh, so it's a, it's a fantastic play right there. Love the label, and this is what they believe they're now calling their Black Series. So you can see there. So uh, and this is four ounces. So uh, it looks like they'll be doing some more with the type with this Black Series and kind of running with it. Um, awesome artwork. Fantastic, give you the shot to the sides. So here you go, Nightwatch Co. I believe it's a husband and wife team that do it, uh, that, that manufacture these. And here are the ingredients, so we might as well run through them with the distilled water. And I'll, I'll give you the, high, the highlights. So the shea butter, the kokum butter, the castor oil, and the glycerin. Those are all your kind of lathering, gliding type of materials that I look for in the soap that I, that I know are gonna make it for a comfortable shave. So, uh, so $17.99, I purchased this from the Razor Company, and uh, one of the really fantastic things about this and this particular uh, soap is that they're donating 5% of all of the proceeds uh, to two fantastic foundations, uh, one being Homes for Troops and the other First Responders Children's Foundation. Uh, super, super cool. So. I think they did fantastic for what you're getting in here, and uh, and this beautiful sense coming off here that we'll get to in just a moment. So for $17.99, uh, I again from the Razor Company, and for four ounces, uh, very very well priced and fantastic. That proceeds are going to help uh, wonderful individuals who who really work the front lines and do so much for this uh, amazing country. So boom boom. All right, there's that. So we can ditch these because you've got all of the pertinent information, and let's get down to some of this gorgeous, and I did peep a scent off of it, of course, you know what I mean, but I, you, know, you can see the pour right there. So, uh, so right out of the gate, so very, very nice. It's a, it's a really beautiful scent coming straight off it. But right out of it, I'm getting definitely the vanilla, the tonka, and uh, yeah, and, and the musk. So really, straight off the puck, I, I, those are the two things that are predominantly coming out to play. And they're playing very nice against each other. So it's a wonderful blend of those two. And we'll, we'll see how this progresses as we go through the shade. But definitely the vanilla for me, and, you know, and, and the musk just literally just keep overlapping each other in such a, a beautiful way. All right. So it kind of almost makes it feel like it's a, a fresh florally almost scent. 
but it's musky and vanilla. Very, very nice. So here's our pour once again. So pretty standard. So, you, you know, it's nice and pliable. So you've got some creaminess here. So, you know, so nice, nice looking puck that we got going on. All right. Jib, jab and jab and jib. Let's get to it. Let me get some of this into this bowl. I'm about a half hour out of the shower and I have several days on here. So desperately uh, in need of a good shave. So let's hope that that's exactly what this gives me. So we'll get some of this in here. And we'll work this into the bottom of this bow bromel as we always do. You know, it's a nice creamy texture. So it's a uh, very nice moving around in here. Not croppy, but still nice texture. All right. It'd be hard to see what we got in here, but I'll give you, I'll peep you the shot anyway. I always do. So let's see if you can pick up on that. Yeah, it's very difficult. There you go a little bit. So, so that's what we got to work with for the most part. If we need more and need anything else, we'll, we'll, we shall adapt. All right. We wet the face. Get this brush a little bit. Some water on that. So, yeah, to me, anybody, you know, with this particular soap, uh, donating back to anybody that's in law enforcement, military, and providing for those who have, you know, put themselves on the line for this, this wonderful country, like I said. Uh, I'm a big fan. Uh, I, I, you know, I just think it's fantastic. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. And look at the creaminess coming off already. So very, very nice. I think it's ex uh, perfectly priced. Um, he could have definitely bumped up this price on this. Um, but I think he kept it perfectly in line with the ingredients. Oh, it's a wonderful smell. And, uh, and I think that's fantastic. I think that's great. You know, really uh, giving a, a wonderful product to the wet shaving community at a very good price. Kudos on that for sure. And then you couple in the donating and, and good dude, man. Good people. All right, so we're getting this guy working up. It's really, uh, the texture is becoming very, very nice and creamy. Just show you a little bit. I'm going to get some more water in here, but that's looking very nice. So it's definitely taking some water for me anyway. So, you know, pick this up. Just be mindful. You want to slowly work that water in. I'm sure you know what you're doing, but, you know, just in case. Very, very nice scent coming off here, though. Oh, it is the vanilla and the musk really do almost kind of play. You're getting some wood, uh, a little bit of a woody note kicking in. Mm, yeah, so it's almost like they're, they're um, I believe there's some uh, some amber in here, maybe some and some blood orange, if I remember correctly. And I think those are starting to come to play, and maybe that's what's actually blending with the musk and the tonka and creating almost a floral scent. It's a beautiful smell though. Very, very nice. And we're just about ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to add a little bit more water, um, but you can see what we're, what we're getting already. That's a very nice looking lab right there. So I'm liking that already. I'm going to give it just a little bit more and then we'll be off to the races. So love the whole, I got your six theme on it, man. I was all in. As soon as I saw that, I was like, <laughs> Come on, say when. Send it. All right, I like where we got because we could build up the rest on the face. Because look, that's a beautiful creamy texture. So let's let's get to it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I, I definitely will add some more water to this, as you can see, because that's that's looking you know nice and thick right there. So we'll crank this bad boy up. Oh, it's a very lovely, very lovely feel. And this bowl, again, you know, you've heard me say it before, if you've watched any of the videos when I use this, that heat retention is insane. Mm -hmm. Very nice indeed. And I'm going to work it a little bit because I just got, a, you know, I got a pretty good couple of days of scrub on here. So I want to get everything nice and loosened up and, and primed. But look at that go on. Oh, man, look at the, there's, you know, there's some density for you. And remember, I mean, these are, you know, for as far as the ingredients are concerned, 
they're very good, but they're very straightforward. You know what I mean? So there's no goat milk, donkey milk, any, any of the those types of things playing in here. And you can see if you do it right, even with the, the what I would call the basic materials, you get a wonderful product, but it's all in how you blend for the most part. Part and parcel to the process of the spotification. So, mm, the scent is really nice. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, that go on. Oh, man. That's wonderful. This is the way I like it. You want to add some more water and, you know, blow it into, you know, blow it up, knock yourself out. I mean, you know, to, to each his own. But this is, this is, I love this. That's creamy. And believe me, you, you add some more water, you'll be rocking and rolling all day long. But look at, look at that. To me, this is what I like. I like that nice, dense, luxurious glide that just makes you want to sit here and do this for the next 20 minutes, <laughs> but I, I shall not. But that is wonderful. Very, very nice job. The scents are, uh, are absolutely fantastic. Um, first off of the puck, they were very nice and very kind of straightforward. Pardon the water. Uh, it was just like I had stated, just nice vanilla, tonka bean, and then, you know, you were getting a little bit of the, you know, some musk kind of overlapping each other. It has blossomed into this beautiful, sweet, uh, really captivating scent. It's very, very nice. Really. What a beautiful change. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a really, that's a, that's a cool one. To go from musky and just kind of a little bit of sweet to more of a sweet, almost florally type of scent. I love it. I really do. All right, let's get at it with this Henson and these RK blades. And let's see how this performs. And again, these blades are just fine. I'm not a huge fan, but got to switch it up every now and then. All right, dry my hands. Ah, wonderful. Very nice residual slickness. Um, just what you would need to do your stuff and get your cleanups going. And they, they raised, this actually did a very nice job. This blades did absolutely fine. I'm, I'm very nice and clean right here where I just went over. Um, so, so there you go. And the Henson, um, I, I really don't think I need to say it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful intuitive shaver. And, uh, this is the reason why it's my only aluminum. I think it'd be hard pressed to beat this guy. And that's just my opinion. Beautiful scent profile, though. It's, it just keeps emanating up as I'm doing this. And, uh, and I just got to call it out because it's just, uh, oh, I think you'll, you'll so enjoy that if you pick this up. It's very, very nice. It's a very nice scent. Yeah, just fine. Not a heavy amount of residual slickness, but absolutely fine. So you can see I'm even going back over here and not getting jammed up. I like a real good residual slickness. This one is absolutely right on par with what you would need to have done. So no issues there whatsoever. So oh, this is going off without a hitch. Uh, back up a little bit there. So not right in your grill. Wow, this was a, this is a peach of a shape. And I was waiting for this thing to come in because um, I remember when they first kind of did the little sneak peek on it, I was very intrigued. And this is the first soap that I've used from, uh, from Nightwatch Co. So, um, so pleasantly surprised. So wonderful first experience. I lather is Dense, man. Ooh wee. Do my little cleanup, but this went off fantastic. Feeling very good. Hey, I'm sure I don't know if you're getting that audio, but there's a little bit there. So, all right. Wow, that's very nice. 
<laughs> Fantastic. All right, let me clean up. All right, all right, all right. Whew, that was a nice one. Oh, that's a lovely smell. That's a very nice smell. Not overpowering at all. Very pleasant, very pleasant indeed. It really made a nice change. It, it literally just completely hooked it, man. Musky vanilla and then boom, into some sweetness and really just phenomenal. Mm, very, very nice. Very pleasant indeed. Well done on that. All right, let's do our soap shot. This guy thinks it's kind of packed in here. This little smoke. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, when I was saying, you know, dense, I'm not kidding. I mean, that's, look at that texture on there. I'm sorry, there you go. <laughs> so look at that texture. Ooh, that's nice. That is a very nice, whew, look at that. I mean, man, creamy, delicious goodness. Oh, it's a nice smell, man. Very well done. Very well done. That's a pleasant way to start the day. Ooh, that is some nice lather. So let me get this off my hands and clean up, and uh, we'll go through and wrap this bad boy up. Very well done. Well, there you have it, folks, ladies, gents. I mean, that's a pretty straightforward, nice, saline, well done shave. Uh, fantastic. Great job, Nightwatch Co. Uh, really, I'll definitely be picking up more of theirs. Oh, that's so wonderful. And you can see what we use today. Not, you know, so, you know, and there's plenty, plenty to go around. Anyway, jib and jab till the cows come home. There we go. One and done, done and dusted. Uh, hope you enjoyed the shave as much as I did. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Be good.